What is up guys, it's Brandon here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get your audio files into a YouTube video so that YouTube does not nail you with copyrighted material and say that, you know, you can't play your video in however many countries because you're stealing other people's music and claiming it as your own. So, in order to get around that, we're going to go right into iMovie, my primary editing software. And my little video, where is it? There it is. And basically what you're going to do first is you're going to select an audio file that you have in your video. And uh, let's start with, we can make the world stop. And when you do select the audio file, you're going to have a inspector window pop up over here. Clip stands for, you know, the video here. And audio stands for whatever audio file you have in place here. And you can actually do a few different things so that YouTube's sensors, whatever the heck they have, doesn't notice your audio file being copyrighted. So what you could do first is you can mess around with the fade ins and outs. You can actually just bring this all the way down and bring the fade out all the way up. Or you could bring the fade out down. Come on, go back to zero. I'll just turn that off. Um, yeah, or you could just mess around with like the fade ins and the, f the fade outs, like I just mentioned, and that could disrupt, you know, their sensors. I don't, I've never tried this method before, but I've heard it may work. Or you could go right back to here, this screen, the inspector, and select an audio effect. Now I ha I have small room, and you're gonna see in a second it's gonna get loud, but you're gonna see in a second when I select small room. Uh, the music will change a bit, so yeah, here you go. So, yeah, basically, these audio effects, this you know, the small room, large room, or whatever the heck it said, medium room, and the different pitches, as you saw in there, you know, there's the different names for the effects, they do a really, really good job with techno-ish dubstep-type songs. However, if you have a song like uh, Where Them Girls At, um, Nicki Minaj, Florida, those pitches sound absolutely terrible. Do not put, you know, it's obviously your opinion, but... Do not put any of those pitches or small room, medium room, large room in hip-hop songs. It sounds terrible. And as you probably saw, if you're paying attention to the different effects up top, there was like a robot and there was sci- you know, I don't know if it said sci-fi, I forget what it said. But those ones are absolutely rubbish. I don't even know why you would put those in your video. They just mess up the whole entire song. I guess it's maybe if you know you had an audio recording and... You maybe wanted to make yourself sound like a robot. I really don't know. But the point is, you know, you just got to change the audio effect or mess around with its fade in and outs, and you'll be set. I guarantee it. I've done so many intros, intro videos, you know, make an intro for your video and put songs in them, and YouTube has not co uh, nailed me with copyright. So I hope this works for you. It works for me about every time. The only time it did not work for me was about five minutes ago when I actually finished uploading this video which took five hours to upload five hours and I thought I changed you know all of these audio files um, and made them have effects to them turns out I missed this guy all the way at the bottom end of the line which is by I think who's this by uh, it doesn't tell you here um, it's one of the songs from the Disney movie Tron and I did not change the audio file, and YouTube said, you know, you can't use this because it's copyright, and I was furiously upset. So, yeah, I hope that does not happen to you because now this video is out there, 
and uh, I hope you use it wisely. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just inbox me or leave a comment below. So uh, thank you very much, guys. This has been Brandon with another Apple tutorial. See you later.